faces this morning, that means that God has been good to us. And we give God a hand clap of praise for all the wonderful things he's done for us. He took us there and brought us back. Highways and his is God has been good to us. And those two of us out in social media, we welcome you as well. We're at 409 Holloman Drive in College Station, Texas, where our pastor is Dr. M.O. Cooper, and we welcome you this morning. And may God be with you and God bless you. So all those things that you have that's bombarding you, holding you down, shackling you, yeah. got your handcuffed, have you bewildered, I ask you to let those go so God can use you to yes, stay. Yes. To give him the worship that he deserves. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. So we're going to get our own way and we're going to praise God. Amen. 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 We give you the hands of our choir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
in the book of 2 Corinthians, Paul wrote to the Corinthians, and he mentioned to us that, to them, and applicable to us, that we have received a ministry and of mercy, and we should not faint. And he said, on this Christian journey, there will be some things. He said, we've already made it in our hearts that we're going to push away those dishonest things. Yeah. We're not going to deal in craftiness. And he also says in that same verse that we should have a mind that what we do and how we walk should shine upon everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Then he says that we preach Christ and not ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. But he says, on this journey, you will have some difficulties and you will have some setbacks. But in verse 17 and 18, he says to us here, he says, our afflictions, our light afflictions, yeah. which but be a moment, yeah. worketh for us for more exceedingly for the eternal weight of glory. Yeah. While we look not at the things that are seen, yeah. but we look at the things which are not seen. For things which are seen are temporal, but things which are not seen are eternal. So folks are not going to understand what we do and why we do it. We do it for eternal reason, Amen. not a temporal reason. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Amen. Our Father, we uh, were woken, uh, waking up this morning by you with a mindset that I could not have done yeah. what I was able to do, and that was to acknowledge you for having kept me yes, as I slept in slumber. Thank you, Lord. I was able to get down on my knees. Well. And upon finishing, I was able to get up. Yeah. Yeah. Much to say thank you for. I'm reminded, Father, that as I got older, my memory is not what it used to be. But I'm asking you, Father, that never let me forget your goodness. Whether it be 40, 50, 60 years ago, it keeps us mindful of who you are, what you've done for us, and what you are doing right now, and what you may do going forward. We just want to say thank you. There's been food on our table for another week. Gas in our cars. Been able to even put our hands to the wheel and drive. Then, Lord, you allow us to have houses to live in. The ones that's made by hand, but we're looking forward to one that's not made by hands. So teach us, Father, not to get attached to this stuff here on, on this side. Open up our eyes that truly, Lord, we may see, and seeing we may come to and understand that thou art God and there's none beside thee. There's none like you, they tell me. Who looks upon our hearts and our minds, see our failures and our faults, our difficulties, and our disobedience even. But yet you are faithful and just to come. If we come and confess our sins and clean us of all unrighteousness. But they tell me that our righteousness is nothing more than dirty rags. So we can't do righteousness without you, Lord. So if we come now Asking Heavenly Father that you to intercede in all of our lives. Guide us, for Lord, if you leave us to our own way, we are subject to fail and fault. And that's not what you called us into existence. You made us, Heavenly Father, that we might give you praise, God, and honor, that we might, through our lifestyle, through what we do say and think, that we might tell the world about you. Yeah. And Lord, we, we failed at that many times and we come now, Father, asking you to forgive us now. Help us, Father, to be able to walk upright and to teach others the good news of the gospel. 
let it be part of a challenge in all of our lives, Heavenly Father, for that's how we are called to spread the word. But if, Father, if we don't know the word, we, we can't spread it. So we ask, Father, that you cause us to have a zeal for your word that we're willing to not only be hearers of it, but be doers of it. And, Lord, when we don't understand, let us fail not to ask. For life and death, it has in its hands. But we don't understand that sometimes. And so, Lord, we ask you to forgive us because we've made so many grievous mistakes in our life. And we need you, Lord, to clean us up. We can't clean ourselves, no matter how hard we try. We ask you now, Lord, to cause us to lean not unto our own understanding, Master, but in all our ways. You might be able to acknowledge you that in all our ways you might direct our path. We know, Heavenly Father, that we have so many burdens that we try to bear on our own We we ask and pray, Heavenly Father, that we let go of those things. It's nothing that we have here on this side that we can take with us. But why do we want to hold on to it? You gave it to us. Certainly, if someone takes it or steals it, you can, we can replace it. So let's not get caught up because we're at a time at Wild Wild West in Texas where proliferation of guns is and Father, it's dangerous, even more so today. And we ask you, Heavenly Father, to keep us clothed in our right mind, that we don't get caught up in overreacting to a situation. But we thank you for this opportunity, Heavenly Father, to fellowship and worship at this place. That they would not have been able to have done this, Lord, without you. <laughs> These are all blessings we pray in thy son's name. Amen, amen, and amen. amen.
God we serve. His love is beyond what we can really understand. So we walk with him by faith. His grace is sufficient. His truly unmerited favor. The worst of us are the objects of his love. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Y'all got me kind of... Thank you, Lord. I know he would because he said he would. Yes, <laughs> Jesus will. The Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the church at Rome. And in it, he really opens up the subject of what it means to have God on your side. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. In that third chapter in 10th verse, he says, as it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. The righteousness of God, my brothers and sisters, is neither an attribute of God, nor is, the change, nor is it the changed character of the believer but the righteousness of God is Jesus Christ himself. Hmm. He says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. I want to read one verse, verse 21, and I'll let you sit down. It says, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets. I think I better read 22. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. All have sinned. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Don't waste your time trying to uncover someone else's unrighteousness. It's already out in the open. And you can't tell God anything on anybody that he doesn't already know. Amen. I want to talk to you today from this subject. The righteousness of God is available. The availability of the righteousness of God. Because our righteousness compared to his righteousness, is as filthy rags. So the righteousness of God, one commentator said it should have been in this interpretation, a righteousness of God. No, no, no. But there's only one. So I beg to differ. The righteousness. Of God, It was the righteousness of God that saved us from a burning hell. There was, there was, there is, there will never be another who could stand in the gap for a world full of sinful people. Shed his blood on the cross for them, wash them, and they become the righteousness of God. Don't worry about what folks say about you. Amen. No, no. Trust in the Lord Amen. 
with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Not sometimes, not in some ways, but in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. I don't know about you, but I took some bad turns on the way to salvation. I went down some dark, lonely, desolate roads on the way to God's mercy. Uh, are y'all praying with me? I knew to go right and went wrong so many times on the way to my God's salvation. Amen. But he... He, he put something in place yes. to remind us how much he loved us. Yes. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son yes. that whosoever believeth on him should not perish yes. but have everlasting life. Whosoever without differentiation Amen. if the liar wants to come yeah. let him come yeah. if the murderer wants to come yeah. let him come yeah. amen if the cheat wants to come let him come and drink yeah. from this life giving stream yeah. the blood of Jesus we are washed and made clean by the blood of Jesus and not by our own so-called effort. Is God good? I'm glad I found that out one day that I could quit straining over something that I could never reach. I could quit straining and start asking. He said, you have not. Because you ask not. What a mighty God we serve. The righteousness of God. The article is absent in the Greek, but we're not talking language now. We're talking the truth. The righteousness is not an attribute of God. The righteousness is God's son. God so loved Melvin. As messed up as he was and even is that he gave his only begotten son that if I would believe and confess that God raised him from the dead I would be saved how do you get this righteousness the Bible says we don't become we are made See, if we could become, that means we could do it on our own. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all going to pray with me? We, yeah. we work hard for degrees. We work hard for attainment. We work hard for, for jobs and for promotions on our job. But you can't reach this yeah. right. with a human hand. All right. yeah. All right. God is a good God. Yeah. But he said it's available. Yeah. <laughs> My righteousness yes, sir. is available yeah. to everyone who will believe. What a mighty God. Yeah. We walk by faith, yes, not by sight. Isaiah says our, our righteousness is just filthy. It's like, it's like taking out the dirty laundry. Yeah. It looks good when it's washed. Yeah. But when you use it a few times, yeah. you got to come back again. <laughs> is, God, is God good? Yeah. And you got to be careful how you wash what you wash. Can't wash everything together. <laughs> I'm talking to you about my sin now. <laughs> Some things God's got to separate. Can't wash the, 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 the dirt, the color with the white. Because the dirt that's on the colored will taint the white. But in the blood of Jesus, there's no distinction. My sin is like your sin. All unrighteousness is sin. So I don't understand people trying to uncover other folks' sin. 
when they can't see around their own. All right. Uh, uh, Y'all gonna pray with me? I, I quit trying to judge people. Yes, sir. Because every time I would try to judge somebody else, God would put a mirror. in front of me spiritually and show me myself. Oh, you come a way, son, but you still need to be separated from some stuff. And, 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 and you want to hang on, but you can't bleach the red, blue, and the black. It'll change color. You bleach the white and it becomes brighter at what it already is. And the blood of Jesus causes us to become brighter. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father who is in heaven. But of him ye in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. 1 Corinthians 1 and 30. We have to understand God did this. Yeah. Yeah. But the only way we could receive it is to first desire it yeah. and then take God at his word. Yeah. You got to receive my righteousness. His name is Jesus. Not, his name is not Muhammad. His name is not Gandhi. Yeah. Right. His name is not Buddha. Right. His name yeah. is Jesus. Yeah. Christ of God. Salvation to sinners. Yeah. And then we're told that he had made him to be sin for us. Who had no sin. Yeah. The only reason that we are able to receive the righteousness of God, which is Jesus, is because Jesus was in heaven with God from the beginning. Yeah. 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 Amen. He didn't become when he was born. He was with God in the beginning. Yeah. And without him was not anything made that was made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he put on flesh to keep Melvin out of hell. He was already in heaven. But God looked in the earth and the Bible says there was none righteous. No, not one. And what we can't reach, God will deliver. Somebody ought to clap your hands and say, that's how I made it this far. And that's how I'm going to keep on carrying on by God's grace. His unmerited favor. We have to recognize that God is the one who provides this righteousness. You can't reach it by going to class. You can't get this righteousness with a bachelor's degree. God provides this righteousness. And, and, and the good news is this is we are. He didn't say we are made like unto. He said we are made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Righteousness came and touched the sinner who would believe and the sinner was made the righteousness of God. Amen. Wait a minute. If Jesus is the righteousness of God and if you are made the righteousness of God, you've got a relationship with righteousness. Y'all are kin for me. Jesus is our elder brother came down from glory because of our sinful condition. And, 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 and this righteousness that, that I'm talking about now is what it was talking about when we began reading the text. It's apart from the law. Yeah. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. It's apart from the law. God provides. It's not something I can work out or you can work out, but it's something that God has put before us yeah. that's available. To every one of us. Don't look, at, don't look at that crackhead funny. He might wind up being your pastor. Because it's available. To everyone who will receive. Can I get a witness? Amen. Don't look at that man staggering down the road. Look up in your rearview mirror. 
and he'll show you how good he is. If he could do that for you, he can do it for another. He's a mighty God. You can't keep the law to begin with. The law was there to show us our sinful condition and that we were lost and apart from God because of our disobedience. But then, even though we couldn't keep the law, God can't save you by the law for the simple reason that you can't measure up to the law. Every time I look at the law, I'm a mess. Anybody ever read what God told us in, in his commandments? Every time I consider what he says, I'm a mess. But I'm saved. Because I couldn't reach his righteousness, but his righteousness reached me. Somebody in here ought to see me too, man. I, I know we don't like to admit some of the things we've done, some of the places we've been, but God already knows it all. We don't have to repeat it. Amen. All we got to do is say, God, you know me better than I know myself. And I know that I need you and I cannot make it without you. Robe me, clothe me in your righteousness. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. See, God did what he has done for us, my brothers and sisters, because he cannot accept, God cannot accept imperfection. Amen. And you and I cannot provide perfection. Amen. Amen. And if we were going to be perfectly saved, God had to do it himself. Amen. Oh, come on. God sent God to die for us in order that we might be saved. Washed in his blood. Not bleached with Clorox, but washed clean. Because even Clorox don't get out of all the spots. <laughs> Have you ever had a spot on something that you liked and you kept trying to get it out? Pretty soon you realize you were just making the fabric weak. Because it was in there and only one thing can get it out, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> only one thing can get it. Therefore, God can't save us by the law. He sent us the law to show us ourselves. And, and witness by the law and the prophets means that the law bears witness to the fact that at the very center of the Mosaic system was a tabernacle where bloody sacrifices were offered, which were not for the people's understanding in that time, but pointed to Christ. Yeah. Pointed to Christ, his blood. Every other sacrifice was partial and temporary. When the high priest went into the temple, to offer up sacrifices for the sins of the people, he had to be dressed a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. We get on people because they look good. Yeah. Meticulously yeah. prepared. Yeah. Yeah. He had to have every thread in place. Yeah. Everything that God told him to put on that robe had to be on that robe. Yeah. Yeah. And he had to be prepared to put it on. Yeah. Uh -huh. And even though he felt like he was prepared, he was a man. Amen. And y'all know men. Amen. I'm one. I've been knowing one for 50, 70 years almost. Oh, and that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I made some turns. Yeah. Then some U-turns. Yeah. Got away from it, made another U-turn, yeah. and went back to it. Yeah. But God keeps on yeah. blessing me. Because his love is greater than the power of the world. So what he does is he, he leaves a record so that we can understand that there is no remission of sins without the shedding of blood. And Melvin's blood would not suffice. All I can do is die. Amen. But he could die, handle the sins of the whole world, go to hell and wreck the devil's house, yeah. 
He get up on the third day morning out of the borrowed grave that he just yeah. used a few days. Show himself alive again to all who could see and needed to see him. And then 40 days later, he caught a cloud and went on back to heaven. Now he's seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is my representation in heaven. Satan still is the accuser of the brethren. It's something he won't stop doing. But every time he accuses you, your lawyer stands up in heaven. So he did that, and your lawyer simply says, covered. Yes, sir. Oh, oh come, on, come on, somebody. But, but, but he, if he was a Christian, he wouldn't have said that. Covered. Thank you. Thank you. What do you mean? Because it's not my righteousness that saved me. Yeah. It's God's righteousness. Yeah. And Jesus saved us because God loved us. Yeah. And now he pleads our case day after day at the throne of grace. Yeah. What a mighty God. Some of the things that we did should have been deadly. Had it not been for the grace of God, we would not have made it home. Uh, uh, Y'all going to pray with me? Even though, even though we weren't professing Christians then, and we were trying to run from church and run from the preacher and run from the choir singing and run from all day at the church. Amen. We get on those dangerous roads, that same God is the one who caused that wreck not to happen. When you were looking directly into the headlights of another car coming your way, and when you opened your eyes, you were on the other side of your trouble. Somebody ought to say, nobody but God. Nobody but God. He's a mighty God. So the prophets witnessed that, that the coming of Christ would happen. Talked about his death and his resurrection. Isaiah spoke about it. Unto us, son is given. Unto us, a child is born. Can I get a witness? He even told you who he would be. And that he would be the salvation of the world. Isaiah said, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Y'all know we think we're smart. We, we, we got a little intellect now. It's hard to make us understand yeah. Yeah. that the dumbest person on earth can be saved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What did the Lord say? My way is so plain yeah. that a fool need not err therein. Yeah. <laughs> God said, you know what he was saying, Reverend Osgood, he was saying, Melvin, you can make it too. You can make it too. But you got to take my righteousness yeah. and not your righteousness. All we like sheep have gone astray, everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him yeah. the iniquity of us all. I'm almost yeah. through. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. And he had put him to grief. And thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Yeah. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. He's a, he's a mighty God. When I was a young preacher in this town, when I was first called to preach the gospel, I had no idea what it would entail. But I knew I was called. Yeah. I was called. I was, I was called from the bandstand to the pulpit. <laughs> yeah. Nobody but God. Yes, Who but God could see something in somebody like that? Yeah. Who, who was just living for the weekend. Yeah. Go to Kay Woolens and spend my whole check. Yeah. Buying those cheap clothes you couldn't wear in the rain. Yeah. Leave home sharp with a suit on come back with a short set. Cheap sin is cheap. Yeah. It doesn't profit us anything, yeah. but it will cost us everything. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I remember those days, Brother Robert. I, I knew I looked pretty good, but I wanted to stay under some shelter. 
That's us, y'all. Yeah. We might look like we're all right, good Christians, everything is well in our life, but we need to stay under the covering of God. God covers us in his righteousness, not ours. It, it comes to us by faith. Great men have tried to define this righteousness, and, and, and only God can do it. Brooks said it this way, that righteousness which the Father required, the Son became, and the Holy Spirit convinces of us, and faith secures for us that righteousness, hmm, which God commands. It's the only thing that he can receive. He demands and he approves, and he himself provides it. I don't know if you can say it any better than God loved us so that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whatever brute, liar, murderer, cheat, would believe on him, confess that God had raised him, from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah. I'm almost through. Have I got any saved folk in here? Yeah. We've been, yeah. we have been, my brothers and sisters, through a little better than almost three whole years yeah. of pandemic. Yeah. But we're still here. Yeah. Not by our goodness, but by his grace. We're still here. We've had that virus even sneak into our houses, into our families, but we're still here. God is an awesome God. Can I get a witness? And, and, and it seems that anybody else would fail, but God can make a way out of nowhere. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something about the God that I serve. The Bible teaches us that we must work the works yeah. of him that sent us while it is day. When night cometh, no man can work. Do it while the blood is running warm in your veins. Do it while you're still clothed in your right mind. Do it while you still got a reasonable portion of your health and your strength. I, I, I told, I looked in the mirror the other day and I said, self, oh, come on. You're a wreck, but most folk can't tell. Why is that? Because God is good at it. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can I get a witness? I'm, I, 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 I have my wife laughing at me sometimes. I get ready to get up. My mind says, let's go. My body says, I'll be here when you get back. <laughs> I'll be right here. I'm not going. But God is good. When he needs you to do something, he makes all that stuff disappear. He gets it out of your way, and he gives you the grace and the power to do what he called you to do. And every now and then, you ought to tell somebody, I'm a wreck, but I got a good body, man. I said, I'm a wreck, but I got a good body, man. Every time I get bent up and bruised and scratched, he fixes me. <laughs> and he's such a good body, man. When he fixes a wreck, you can't tell it's been in a wreck. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. Somebody ought to say, that's me, that's me, that's me. I know you're looking at me. You think I'm all right, but I'm a wreck. But I got a good body, man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He, he not only fixed the dents, he, he repaints the surface. Yes, sir. Makes it look like it's new. God is an awesome God. So he says that righteousness is like a garment. It's available to everybody, but it only comes upon those who will believe. Yes, sir. Uh, Available to everybody, but only comes to those who will believe. For all have sinned and come short. That doesn't mean that there's not a difference in sinners, but it does mean that we've all sinned. Yes. And, 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 and so your sin may not be my sin. Yeah. Yeah. 
But all unrighteousness is sin. And the wages of sin, I'm about to go to my seat, y'all with me? The wages of sin is death. God paid it. In Jesus, he paid it all. And then he credited righteousness to my account and put it on me like a well-fitting garment. The devil tries to take it off, but he's not strong enough. What God has done, the devil cannot undo. What God has said, the devil cannot change. Are you a wreck? I can't tell. You look good to me. Oh, come on, somebody. You got smiles on your faces. You're sitting next to your loved ones. Hey, man, God is good. You look like you ate something. You, if not today, you did yesterday. Or you wouldn't look as healthy as you're looking. God is a good God, and he's worthy to be praised. Yes, every one of us needs help. None of us can make it without God. help. He will take care of your difficulties. If you let him have it, drive on in. I'll let him pull you on in to the paint and body shop. God will make everything all right. Say yes. If you believe it, say yes. He made a way for me. He made a way for you. I'm so glad that he didn't leave me out. I was in the club, but he didn't leave me out. I was drinking the hooch, but he didn't leave me out. I was running up and down the street, but he didn't leave me out. He saved me. He saved me. He saved you by his grace. Say yes. Jesus, the righteousness of God hung on the tree on Calvary's hill from the sixth to the ninth hour in the all right sin on the right side sin on the left side one said if you're who you say you are go down and take us with you the one on the right side said man this man has done nothing wrong then he looked at Jesus and said Lord Lord when you come into your kingdom Remember me, Jesus said, today, not tomorrow, not after church next Sunday. Today, not tomorrow, not after the water baptism. Today, not tomorrow, thou shalt be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. to be praised. Why don't you praise him with me? Clap your hands. Shout yes. Clap your hands and say I'm out of the body shop. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Early that Sunday morning he stepped out of the grave with all power in his hand. Forty days later, he went up again. Now he's seated on the right hand of God, pleading for you. Say your name. Say your name. Say your name. He's pleading for you. Say your daughter's name. He's pleading for her. Say your son's name. He's pleading for him. Hallelujah. Come on, Brother Deacons. God can fix it. And he will fix it.
for you. Don't let the devil deceive you into thinking God does not love you. Scripture declares the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. God won't take it back. So sad. Christian experience, candidate for baptism. I am if you just know so you need to have Jesus in your own life. As your own personal Savior. There's no better day than this day. that you show up on the fifth Sunday morning with your pipes cleared out. <laughs> Black suit, red tie, so we can serve the Lord in song. Amen. Amen. Fifth Sunday, 11 a.m., the morning worship service. We're going to have you sing a solo, Dick.
It would be sad if we couldn't enjoy each other's company. Amen. God has been truly good to us. St. Matthew Church is blessed. Last year there be reached a milestone of 100 years in existence. Now, as I talk to people since we've been in this pandemic for a long time, and it's still going on, it's not over, but God is still God. He has not, he does not change. So when I run into somebody that I haven't seen in a while, I greet them in the name of Jesus. Good to see you. Haven't seen your church in a long time. Not meddling, just reaching. If you're going to fish, you got to get the hook out of the boat. Amen. Amen. Yes, you got to remind people how good God is. And he's brought us this far. He didn't bring us to leave us now. Amen. Amen. If you trust him, he will never let you down. Amen. Amen. It's not just one church. It's all over the place. Amen. But God has blessed us to be able, if you can't get here, and you can't get here, to be able to bring church to your living room. You're God good. Amen. Nobody but God. Bless the Lord. Thank God for all of these leaders, these hardworking Christian men and women who are doing all they can for the kingdom, for the church, those who operate and make sure that this worship service gets beyond these walls. And we've gotten some responses from not just across the country, but overseas. Some people said traditional African-American worship is dead. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. The Lord said, don't forget the old landmark. Don't forget where you came from and how you got here. It was by the grace of God. So we're going to keep lifting his name. Keep encouraging those that you know and you see. Come on, we're there waiting on you. Amen. What a mighty God. We've got folks to drive all the way from Conroe, from Round Rock, to be here on Sunday. Amen. What a blessing. Later, there's a deaconess in this church now. I used to drive here on Sunday from Austin. Hmm. God's got a record. My grandpa said, boy, he's not just looking, he's also booking. <laughs> he's got a record of your deeds. The good things you do, God doesn't forget. Amen. Amen. Bless your heart. I'm going to let you be dismissed from this place but I pray that God would just keep you till we meet again Amen. let's stand on our feet for our benedictory song and prayer Thank you now for the gift of your son, Jesus. Salvation through him by your hand, robing us in your righteousness. Thank you, God, that eternity is fixed and no demon in hell can undo what you have done. 
Bless your holy name. Touch the sick, the afflicted, broken hearted in Jesus' name. Bind us closer together in Christian love and fellowship. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus, the Christ of God, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide with us all now, hence, and forever. And God's people all sing together with one voice. God be with you. Go in peace.